Hello and welcome back to RA Reviews. Today we are doing the recording of the bath seat and the toilet frame. Um, I managed to get hubby to do the recording for me. So we'll be sharing how easy it is to assemble, how easy it is to clean and use with both of them. Also, if you've just joined, don't forget to subscribe, like and hit that notification bell. Before we start the review on the bath seat and um, toilet frame, I just wanted to remind you that I am in no way medically trained to advise um, this all from my own point of view and I'm not being paid at all, this is coming out of my own pocket um, and I just want to share with others like myself what's out there, how to use it and how it could help potentially aid you within your home. So let's go along and have a look. So we are now in my bathroom, please excuse the mess and take a look, we're not talking about that, we are talking about the bath seat which is here. So when this arrives it does come in a box but obviously mine came a few years ago so we don't have packaging so we're gonna get straight to it so it comes in two parts and th if depending where you get it from if you get it from an ot they'll put it together and, and set it up for you obviously if you buy it from amazon or another care place then it'll be sent in the post and then you will have to put it together but it's quite easy. So I'm going to show you how now. So, first thing you come is sort of the base. It has four, it looks like it has four handles and it has two rubber bits here, which is to keep it fixed in the bath. So all you do, depending what I'm going to do, is put it this end of the bath, just to be easier to share with you guys. But you can obviously put it under your shower head so that you are able to sit on it and have a shower. So all you do is you place it where you want it, like so, and then you just tighten these, just tighten these rubbery feet things which will help keep it in place like so. And then your chair is not that heavy, just let you all know has um, your handle here, which locks it in place when turning, the hole to place it on the bath, which we are going to do. Just lining it up, like so, give it a wiggle. Da, da, da. One bath seat. And then you push the handle down to lock it in place, so then it won't move anywhere. And then obviously once you're in it, you lift the handle, and you turn yourself, lock it, so you're safe and secure. So, personally for me, I found the bar seat really, really handy. I did have a flat bench, a flat bench which didn't have a back, really slippery, and I kept having lots of falls. So therefore, I contacted my OT, who came out, assessed, and this is what we came to the conclusion of what would be better for my needs. So I'll give you a little demonstration. Obviously I'm not getting undressed, that's just not happening. So all you do is you sit down, slide yourself backwards, like so, lift your handle here, and then I've got a handle already in the bath, but you slowly push yourself round, like so, and lift your feet, both feet in and lock that seat so again you can't move. Do your showers, etc. And then you lift your handle and you get turned around again. Sorry, I struggle with my left leg. Um, but, and that is pretty much it. One thing um, that we found was that the water gathers up um, at the back, so my husband drilled a hole in the back of the seat to let the water drain and not just collect there, which, so far, touch wood, has worked. 
So that is pretty much about the bath seat. The bath seat is really easy to clean. Um, like you saw, it's quite light, so you can lift it up to clean underneath and everything. And it's easy to manoeuvre, which is brilliant. So that is the bath seat side of things. And we'll wrap up in a minute where you can get the bath seat from and different ways of getting a bath seat. Moving on, the toilet frame. Um, some people find this really useful, which I personally do. It is what it says on the tin, I guess. It is just a frame. It has feet down the bottom, which are adjustable. Um, they're a little bit fiddly because they're like pegs and you've got to pull them out. Um, I'm not going to show that because I can't actually do that. So you may need a member of family or friend to help you adjust. Just so you get the right height. So that when you're sitting down, it helps you lower down. Really easy to clean. Um, and one thing I have found, which I don't know if you think is a good idea or not, maybe not, but I have done this, is when I'm in loads and loads of pain, really struggling, I can put, move this here, just to, more like a walk-in frame at that point, just to help you ease into your seat of your bath. And then obviously getting out, again, it's something to lean on to help, just help steady you and assist you a bit. So again, really good, really handy. And we'll talk about places where we can buy these or find out how to get an OT to come and do an assessment for you. So this one was quite short today. Not so much you can talk about. Um, so I've just covered the bases and shown you guys what it's like, how easy it is and how easy it is to clean, etc. So now we're going to talk about the other parts. Let's go. Okay, so we have now done the review on the toilet seat and bath frame. I'm sorry it wasn't very long, but it's only so much you can talk about with the toilet frame and bath seat. But I have outlined how easy it is to use um, and clean, etc. And like I said whilst filming that, we're going to come back and talk about where you can, how to get the bath seat and toilet frame different options there are so there's a couple of options um the first one is how i did it i contacted um my doctor who then referred me to an ot which is a occupational therapist and they will come out and assess your mobility basically see what you are able and not able to do um, and then they'll discuss that with you to decide what will work best within your home um, and you would be able to use i.e the bath seat and toilet seat so there is that option or you can contact you can either go through your GP or your consultant or nurse or any other healthcare professional that you see regularly um, they will all be able to assist you with this or you can contact adult social care and they will talk to you again about your needs assessment and send out an OT failing that if you choose that you don't want to do that um, you can buy them online um, the bonus with having an OT come out I personally found was that they bring it out they install it and then they're able to show you how to use it as well I mean obviously some of it is self-explanatory which we all know but there are sometimes things that are brought into the home and you're like oh I don't know how to use that and they will just walk through talk through how to use it etc um, so that that is the bonus of having an OT out obviously when you order it online it would normally come with instructions 
on how to do it you just may need a family member or friend to help assist you to put it together depending um, how restricted your mobility is so the three places that I've found that you can buy them is manage at home and that is priced at 112 pound mobility smart which is 119 pound 94 this is all for the bath seat that is similar to mine okay so it sits in the bath and swivels and the other place I found was Amazon and that comes in at $79.95 so there's different price brackets um, on different seats obviously I'd like to also just remind you that I'm not medically trained in any way and I'm not being paid in any way to promote different things um, products I am literally googling the top three and going with them to share with you just give you an example this is all based on my own opinion my own view and how I find using the things that I'm using so I just wanted to share that with you that is the review on the bar seat and toilet frame the toilet frame again same process with um, contacting an OT and you can buy it also from Amazon which is £30.29 uh, NRS Healthcare which is £24.98 and Complete Care which is £24.98 as well so like I said I just google and see what comes up top three obviously when you're looking have a shop around have a price check make sure you're getting what you want um, don't just go for the first thing that pops up make sure you shop around I think that's always important in whatever you buy so I hope you enjoyed this review I'm sorry it's not so long today and not so funny it's very hard to make it funny but the view review is done so I've shared with you what I can I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you again with RA reviews next Thursday at 7pm. Okay, lots of love. Take care. Bye.